I had actually started this off as, as a very uh, a very simple documentary. That, that was actually the plan, sort of us in you know a plain setting um, with interviewer behind the camera. And then I started to make individual decisions that each sort of incrementally started moving away from a traditional documentary format. So, you know, interviewer behind the camera. Why can't you put the interviewer in front of the camera? Now that you've put the interviewer in front of the camera, does the room need to be empty? And I was like, no, I don't see why the room needs to be empty. And so that all led to a more organic feeling of, of, of having a bar that would, you know, sort of replicate the setting that you would typically have where you would have people sitting there and talking about stuff. My name is John Harkrider. I am the director of a film, All the Beautiful Things, which is a U.S. documentary competition at the Sundance Film Festival. All the Beautiful Things is a documentary around uh, 15 years ago. Um, my best friend, uh, Baron, was accused of, of rape. What had happened was a girl who was a mutual friend of both of ours had a relationship with him of sorts, uh, and he had broken up with her, and she had gotten really upset. They had had an argument, uh, and then she called me up. Uh, and told me that uh, my best friend had beaten her up and raped her. The charges were very, very serious, um, and he, uh, you know, was potentially, you know, facing, uh, you know, 60, 70 years in jail. So what the film is about is about us getting together and talking about things that we had sort of skirted around uh, but never had a conversation about. Um, and obviously, that's uh, that can be very challenging. Oh, really? Is that why you talk so much shit about me? You got a best friend, man? Yeah, I do. He ever let you down? You weren't making excuses for me. You were making excuses for your father. You are a six-year-old boy. When we got to you know, sort of the trial, we just let it be. And this was the first conversation that we had had about that. And that was really sort of the, the biggest thing for us, which was you know having a conversation about about not just sort of the, the threat that he was under, but how that event and everything that led up to it actually, you know, impacted other people as well. I think before the film was made, you know, we were both very angry and we both had sort of this burning desire to make the film um, to tell sort of our point of view. Through the process of the film, we talked through all this stuff and at the end, instead of having this burning desire to make a film, it was a combination of, you know, a little bit of repose and, and, um, and, and sadness. Um, but also, why did I make that film? <laughs> you know, because the motivation now was completely gone because the issue had been talked about in a way that it had never been talked about before.